Now if we look for the physical properties of oxygen, we will found that it is a colorless gas, it does not have any distinct smell, so it is odorless, tasteless, heavier than air, slightly, slightly soluble in water also and it is a neutral oxide, neither acidic nor alkaline or basic. And uh, you know that there is two special properties of oxygen that it is non-combustible and uh, the other it is supporter of combustion. Now how can you prove that it is a non-combustible gas? What we do is we take a test tube in which there is an oxygen gas right and we have a tube like this. What we do we bring a burning tapper, we bring a burning tapper. So when we bring a burning tapper, we see that oxygen does not burn itself. That means oxygen do not get burnt, showing that it is non-combustible. Second thing, if you need to found that it is a supporter of combustion, so what we do, suppose this is a glowing splinter. So what we are going to do is, we are going to insert this glowing splinter into the oxygen gas. So when we insert it, we will see that it continues uh, burning and it is it, uh, it starts burning more brightly showing that it is a supporter of combustion so these are a few properties of the oxygen now moving on to the oxides what are oxides see oxides are formed when metal react with oxygen it forms metal oxide and also it is formed when non metal react with oxygen then also it forms non metal oxide. So that means we can have a metal oxide and we can have a non-metal oxide also. For example, we have sodium, sodium plus oxygen, it will form Na2 that is sodium oxide. This is sodium oxide. Likewise, we can have potassium K plus O2, it will form potassium oxide. So we can have many oxides. Likewise, Calcium is a metal, so calcium react with oxygen forming a calcium oxide. Though the formulas are different because they depend upon valency, but all of them react with oxygen to form oxide. And you know that what is the basic nature, what is the nature of this metal oxides? All metal oxides are basic in nature. All metal oxides are basic in nature. That means they turn red litmus blue. They turn red litmus paper blue. Now, because they are basic, how can we know that they are basic? What we'll do is, we are going to add this oxide into water and let's see what does it form. So, when metal oxide react with water, they form metal hydroxide with hydrogen gas and we know hydroxide, that is OH, is a base. So, that means it is basic in nature. So we can say that all metal oxides are basic. Likewise, non-metal react with oxygen forming non-metal oxide. Let's take an example. Carbon plus oxygen forming CO2, carbon dioxide. Sulfur plus oxygen forming sulfur dioxide. Nitrogen plus oxygen forming nitrogen dioxide. Actually, nitrogen can form many oxides, per, but for your convenience, I have written only one oxide formula that is nitrogen dioxide. So, that means non-metal can also form many oxides. Now, if we talk about the nature, then nature of non-metal oxide is acidic. They turn blue litmus red. They turn blue litmus red. And moreover, if we want to see an acidic nature, so when we are going to uh, add this carbon dioxide into water, then depending upon the substance they will form will show their nature. So when we see that CO2 when added to water, it forms acid that is carbonic acid. Likewise, sulfur forms sulfur dioxide. So let us check the nature of sulfur dioxide. Adding it to water, we get H2SO3 that is sulfurous acid. Again shows that this is an acid. So actually uh, it proves that uh, how the oxides are formed and what is the basic, the nature can be acidic or basic. And you know that we have few oxides which are amphoteric in nature. Amphoteric means they have acidic as well as basic character. And what are those oxides? Aluminium oxide and zinc oxide. Both oxides are amphoteric. They have acidic character also and they have the basic character also. Likewise, we have few neutral oxides also. 
लाइक कार्बन मोनोक्साइड नाइट्रोजन ये मोनोक्साइड दीज आर ऑल न्यूट्रल वॉटर हाइड्रोजन ऑक्साइड सो दीज आर ऑल न्यूट्रल नीदर एसिडिक नॉर्थ बेसिक सो दीज आर दी ऑक्साइड्स यू नो दैट देर आर फ्यू मोर थिंग्स वे आर इन ऑक्सीडेशन इज इन्वॉल्व ऑक्साइड्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोसेस लाइक बर्निंग इन प्रोसेस लाइक रेस्पिरेशन इन प्रोसेस लाइक रस्टिंग लाइक इन बर्निंग बर्निंग मीन्स बर्निंग एनी थिंग राइट सपोज यू हैव एन हाइड्रोकार्बन we know that hydrocarbon consists of carbon and hydrogen so when you burn them you get co2 and water vapor so this is one of the example where oxygen uh, is playing a role uh, this is called as oxidation right it results in burning likewise uh, it it can be oxidation can be in, in case of respiration respiration is a process in which food gets oxidized in presence of oxygen giving rise to energy and co2 and as a result you get energy so that you can perform many activities of the body so this is what is a respiration here also an oxidation is involved that is reaction with oxygen is involved third is rusting this you know that if we take an iron article and we keep it uh, or we use it for few years it develop a brown layer on it that is the rust then this is again uh, due to oxidation of uh, iron so iron is fe when it comes in contact with air air with moisture then it develops a brown layer which is fe2o3 dot xh2o particularly called as rust right so this is what where an oxidation is involved so this is all about the physical properties the ox oxides the nature and uh, the and you are familiar with the basic oxide acidic oxide and futuric and the neutral and we have already discussed about the uh, few other phenomena related with oxidation that is burning respiration and rusting